Hello, everyone, and welcome to our Buckeye Roundtable as we break down the second-ranked Ohio State football team in that big game with fifth-ranked Notre Dame. I'm Dom Tiberi, joined by our Dave Holmes and Adam King of 10TV, along with former Ohio State football player Devere Posey and Timmy Hall from 97.1 The Fan. Dave, how much pressure do you think there is on the Ohio State offense and, and Ryan Day, because it, that's his baby, um, it looks to be loaded. Mm -hmm. Expectations, by the way, guys, is through the roof. Mm -hmm. Forget about the fans. That's from Ryan Day and the players themselves. They've been talking about um, everything they expect. Is the hype for real, do you think? Well, it's for real. Now, the pressure and the expectations off the chart, because last year they had one marquee non-conference home game against Oregon and laid an egg defensively, lost the game. They lose to Michigan, up there, got pushed around. Rose Bowl, they were able to salvage because of a Herculean effort by a quarterback and a receiver. But still, that's one and two in their last three big, big games. This one is certainly bigger than some of those. So if they lose this game, yeah, I would not want to be Ohio State and drop this game as the opener. So the pressure is off the charts. Now, are they for real? Yeah. Yeah, they're for real. They're the best offense in America. Stroud is off the charts good. Jackson Smith and Jigma is the best receiver in the country. And Marvin Harrison Jr. is going to be that dude as mm -hmm. soon as Jackson walks out the door. So they're loaded. Mm -hmm. Travion Henderson might be the most talented running back. I know some folks down in Texas might disagree with that, but he's certainly top three. So they're loaded, and they're so good that they can probably turn the ball over once or twice this game and still win the game. As long as they don't absolutely fold in on themselves, they're going to win this game. But as we've seen... You can lose a game like Oregon if you make bad play after bad play. Well, the Ducks got lucky on that one, but yeah. that's Dom's take. Devere, it all starts, and I don't care. You know, I think it's funny. I don't care if it's grade school, high school, college, mm -hmm. NFL. Every offense is built around the quarterback. Yes. And the quarterback is the most important position on the field. You live and die with your quarterback. With that said, how much comfort does Ryan Day take that he has a guy back for a second year Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, is a national championship run clearly on Stroud's shoulders? Is this whole season on his shoulders? I mean, obviously it is. I mean, you have to protect this guy with the offensive line. You have to be able to pick up blitzes with Trevion Henderson. The tight ends have to do their job in protection as well. And the receivers have to catch the ball. I don't think this kid has any issues with finding the right guys, taking the right reads, I think what we're looking at now is preventing injury and just making sure he stays upright. Anytime he can stay upright and deliver the ball, he's going to get there at a pro level. You know, Adam, with that said, and Devere brought up the O-line, uh, to me, quarterback's the most important thing, and then the, to me, the, the next important thing is the O-line. they got a new O-line coach. They've made some changes. Um, but we've heard the players talking about this being a special season. Making a run for the national title. We heard Jackson say, hey, we, we, we are here to play for natties. Uh, how important, though, is it when you hear that stuff to keep it all in check, to keep the blinders on? Because the, the, the only thing that matters right now is you better beat Notre Dame or none of that other stuff will matter. I mean, it's really important, but it's impossible at this point. I mean, it's, it's 2022. Every time you open your phone, you're going to have a new take on who's going to win the national title. And the Buckeyes are seeing it. I mean, there's a number that shows up next to their name when they play on Saturday night. And when you're the number two team in the country, that means that everybody in the country expects you to play for the national championship. And I think that's okay. And Ryan Day has said many times, you come here for the pressure of winning a national championship. Otherwise, go somewhere else. And this year, I think more than any other year, remove 2015 or a year coming off a championship, has the most hype of an Ohio State team we've ever seen. Mm. I mean, there is not a, a person that isn't picking the Buckeyes, and if they are, they've got them at least in the national championship. They've got Shroud raising the Heisman or sitting right there with Bryce Young. This Buckeye team 100% has every expectation for the reason you named. They have the best running back room. They have the best wide receiver room. They have arguably the best quarterback, and all they need is this defense to figure some things out, to just show a little bit of being those silver bullets again. And I think it's okay they know the expectation because I think when you know the expectation, you know the goal and you're able to go chase it. Tim you know, Hall doubts. He doubts this. I mean, he says the defense has to be the 85 Bears or else well, they're not well, going well, to well, go 6-6. Six he's, six. He's They'll right. go 6-6 six six unless yeah, they're the 85 right. Bears. That's Tim Hall's That's thing. some good sports talk stuff. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. That's yeah. Good. And there yeah. you're doing That's it. Here, here's what I'll say about Timmy, and I'm going to Timmy because I've said, and, and it's well documented, he is an expert on pressure. <laughs> Timmy has already said that he his whole thing is to get into the psyche 
mm -hmm. of the coaches and try to figure out, and he is a student of the game, he is a psychologist of the game. The very, you actually played the game yes. and understand what it takes. Timmy, on the other hand, has lived in the minds of these guys. Yeah. Tim, that's long, why I want to ask you this. <laughs> what is keeping Ryan Day up at night? He has a veteran team in a lot of ways. He has a veteran quarterback coming back. He has some new skilled players. Injuries are always the great equalizer when it comes to sport. Many of the pundits, though, are picking Ohio State to win the national championship. And, and I will say that I did pick them. Now, I know you can yell at me, but i got to pick someone, and I think it is Ohio State this year. It is not easy, though, Tim, and I think we can agree, as you've studied the game, to win at this level. How does Ryan Day block all that out, and what is going through his mind when you climb in there? It, well, it's, it's the job. You know, I mean, these guys have said it here in this roundtable. You're the head coach at Ohio State. It was his introductory press conference when he, you know, he, he had a couple of games under his belt, we know, when Urban Meyer had, had his thing. But he said, beat the team up north. He said, you win the rivalry game, and then you win every game after that. Like, he understands the pressure that comes with this. And, you know, you're, I, I don't really have sympathy for guys in these positions because it's just a club that keeps going around and around. Even guys that lose their yeah. jobs, there's a $1 <laughs> million dollar salary the, oh. a month later. But yeah. I'm not thinking about that with, with Ryan Day. He's making, you know, 9 or $10 million a year to deal with pressure and to mm -hmm. compartmentalize things. And then he has shown us that he can go out there and function as a head coach and get the job done. We're talking about a couple of slip-ups, you know, in his whole entire time as a head coach. He's lost one Big Ten game. These things are incredible. The way, the way Urban's run started, not even getting to double-digit losses in his tenure, and the way it's rolled over with Ryan Day's beginnings, he's, he's honestly, he's accomplished everything you can accomplish as a head coach. He just has to win a national championship now. So okay. however long he's here, I don't know if it's this year, but Dom, it's national championship or bust. They're in that position right now. Yep. It's just we got to win the title now. All right, here's what I'm going to do. Last thing, I'm going to start with you, Tim, and we're going to look. And I know this is – we can talk about it. We don't want the players listening to this or talking to it. I'm just going to we'll ask you, and it's it. a simple yeah. yes or no, and if it's no, why? Does Ohio State play for a national championship this year? I'm going to put them in the game. Yeah, if you're not backing me into a corner and asking me to pick the national championship game because we've got you know dogs like Alabama, so you got them in Georgia. Alabama probably. Uh, mm -hmm. I, it's it's going to be possibly Alabama. I mean until well, I'll do it. Timmy, who's going to win the national championship? I'm not, I'm not going to say it just yet. Uh, okay, I'm not but you that have Ohio State yet. there. Are I'm going to put Ohio State okay. in the title game. Who do you have? Does Ohio State make the title game? I see Ohio State beating Utah to get to the national championship game. And I see us in a close one, edge in Alabama, just because I think C.J. Stroud believes he's the best player in the country. The pros are taking him over Bryce Young. I think we get it done. Dave, do, does the Buckeyes make it to the title game? Yeah, so I, I'm going to actually go full blown to Barry here and say they're the biggest lock to get to the championship game. I'm more mm -hmm. confident in Ohio State getting there. Now, I don't know about winning. We see the matchup. But I'm more confident in them getting there than Alabama because of the uncertainty of Georgia and some of the SEC stuff. But I think Ohio State is the greatest statistical lock to be playing in the championship. I think that's a good point. I mean, I think Ohio State could lose their opener if it happens and, and still very well if find they run out, they're okay. Yeah, and yeah. find themselves in the I mean, all they had to do last year was beat Michigan, and they're probably back in the playoff. Yep. Uh, I 100% think they're in the championship, and I think they meet an old foe. I think Clemson gets things figured out this year, and I think they see them back there in the championship, and I think the Buckeyes do raise the trophy this year. I think they're the best team in the country and I think they're going to prove it on defense this year. I think they're going to be one of the best teams on defense. You've, tra you've trained them well. No, <laughs> no them well. I mean, now there are years where <laughs> no, you've trained them the well. Buckeyes are predicted to be 10th and, and yeah. Dom will pick them can to win it. Can we please get to the title game so we can do this again? I know. Yeah. All, all, all I hope is that Ryan Day is keeping all his players away from this. But, yes, I do have Ohio State winning it all. But let me just say what, folks, a lot has to happen. they got to take care of business on Saturday. They got to stay healthy. They got to stay humble. And I still go back to what Woody said. If someone comes up and tells you how good you are, you kick them in the shins. Unless now, because everyone's living longer, unless they're a 90-year-old woman. Because they're just trying to make you soft. <laughs> But, but, but the potential's there for this football team to make it. 80-year-old women are in Dom DeBerry, <laughs> Dom DeBerry, pro-kicking 89-year-old oh. women. 90, I said. Uh, no, yeah, but what about the 89-year-old women? Well, people are living longer. All right. <laughs>
Great stuff. Thanks for watching. Keep it on 10TV 97.1 The Fan for all your Buckeye football needs.